How to make people listen attentively is one of the most important things that you can learn. It is a fundamental skill in making people trust you and therefore selling, marketing, and also developing relationships with humans and also like romantic relationships with women, for example, or with men if you are a woman. <laughs> now, how to speak with such an energy that everyone listens to you? The first and most obvious thing, most obvious thing to me, but maybe not so obvious to you, is to talk with energy. If you don't talk with energy, if you talk lazy, if you don't move your hands much, then you are gonna seem lazy and your energy is gonna come across as that. So put energy into the way you're talking, not only into the words that you're saying, but also in the way that you move your mouth. You see that I'm moving my mouth a lot, right? I'm not talking like this, like I'm not talking like, like this and I'm not moving my mouth uh, much, you know. I'm talking like this. I put energy in the words that I say because I want you to listen to me and I know that you're more likely to listen to me if I put energy into the way that I'm talking. Because you see the words you're saying only make up like 5% off of what other people perceive of you when you're talking. The way in which you talk, the tonality, and the gestures you make, and all those things that, I, that you subconsciously do while you are talking, the gestures, the tonality, the things I just said, they make up 95% of what you say. Apart from, of course, the context in which you're saying it, and the facial expressions, and all these things. But know that only 5% of what you're saying make up what other people think you're saying. If I say, I'm gonna fucking kill you, and I say it with this expression, you are gonna really be threatened by me because I'm saying to you, I'm gonna fucking kill you, man. <laughs> you're gonna think this guy is fucking crazy. But if I say, hey man, I'm gonna fucking kill you one day, right? It's way different. In one way, you think I'm really gonna kill you, and in another way, you will just think that I'm just making a joke. And of course, context matters in this and all these other things. But tonality makes way more um, of a thing than the words you say. Compare texting a girl to talking a to talking to a girl directly, and you will see that many many men that are good in talking to women, like I am, for example, are horrible in texting. Because you can rely on this. You can rely on your facial expressions and on your talking skills so much that you don't need to rely on what you say, but rather how you say it. So speak with energy. The next way of how to say things is to say things from the heart. And I want you to visualize this. I want you to visualize talking to God. The way you pray isn't through your lips. The way you pray is with your heart. God listens to your heart and what your heart says. So imagine saying something in your heart first and then copying it and copy pasting it with your mouth so the other people can hear it. And this will help you with the first point. The first one will be much easier if you just talk from the heart. You will hear you will you will feel this energy if you literally like like try and muscle control, like you like you flex your bicep, try flex your heart while you are talking and visualize what your heart would be saying to someone. If your heart, like it's, it's very hard to explain this, even like after visualizing and doing this for many, many weeks, months, years, it's hard to explain this to someone in other words than visualize your heart saying something to someone and that then if you talk from the heart will be perceived as high energy and it will help you do the first point way better 
The third point is to be present yourself. And being present means that you have 100%, not 90%, not 80%, not 85.456%, but 100% of your attention on the person you're talking to. And this helps the second and the first point. You see how I structured the video, right? So you are attentively by breathing deeply. You pay 100% of your attention to someone by breathing as deep as you can. Breathe in your balls is something that really helped me. Take one breath and try to move your balls with that breath. Can you breathe so deeply that your dick makes like a little bump? I know for the women, it's a little bit weird to hear someone say that, but it's the way guys understand it, trust me. So you breathe so deeply that you believe that, that your balls move. Try that right now. Try to breathe so deep that there's literally like a slight bump in your pants, right? <laughs> Trust me, do this before every single conversation you have and in conversations if they're longer and you will have way more like success with this. Another way you can help uh, to be more present in conversations is to meditate and to do a dopamine detox. And I'll explain both in just a second. Meditation is sitting down and you have to imagine that's like a quick time event from a, from a video game. Here it starts and there is, go away B, go away. <laughs> and here it starts and the line goes further in this direction, the more unfocused you get. And meditation is the action of then pressing the button and getting your focus back here. So you get more unfocused, you get a thought in your brain, and then you realize, oh shit, I have to I have to become focused again. And then you get back to being focused. The better you get at meditation is like the, the harder it is and the slower this line traverses in this direction. So here will be fully distracted, here is 100% mindful. And this is exactly where you want to be in a conversation. By the way, what you need to focus on is your breath. The reason you want to focus on your breath is because your breath is every time you breathe a new sort of thing. Every breath, if you pay close attention to it, is different. You might have a different distribution of, of oxygen between the different nostrils, right? On one breath, 70% of the oxygen might go in through this one and only 30% through this one. And, and by focusing much on this and how your nostrils feel, how the air with like coldly moves f through your nostrils. Fucking B, please go away. Please don't. Shit. <laughs> this is how nice your feels, man. Fucking B's nagging you while you're trying to film a video. And you need to focus. You need to be focused on the breath and on every aspect of the breath. So you try to focus on how cool your nose is while you breathe in. And also do this while you talk to someone. Also breathe through your nose. You can have these short breaths through your nose or you can take a deep breath. If you're a little bit more secure with the other person listening to you. Then another thing is a dopamine detox. Trust me, if the most boring thing you do in your day is talk to someone, then you are gonna fail at that. The most boring thing takes the most discipline to do right, and therefore, talking to someone shouldn't be the most, the most boring thing in your day. And therefore, I strongly encourage you to watch this video right here. It's about doing a dopamine detox, and in there, I explain fully how to do that. Now, have a nice day, and master your mind. Mm -hmm.